Well, we moved from uh, Los Angeles to Seattle so we could be closer to family. And I think it's really important for kids um, to be close to family, you know, so they can know what they're related to. <laughs> Lest they develop a more high opinion of themselves <laughs> than they ought. So you have to shake that family tree and let the nuts fall around. <laughs> right, that keeps them humble. My kids. And we moved to really close to family. There's so much family. And my family lives forever. So we have tons of generations up there. My grandfather's there. He's 95 years old. Uh, and I think his goal before he leaves this earth is to replace every part of his body with a metal alloy. <laughs> He's got pins and screws all over his body. It's not enough for him to just tell you they're in there. He has to prove it to you. Right? So be like, you see that right there? There's a steel plate in my arm. Don't believe me? Punch it. <laughs> he fell down and broke his leg. They had to put a titanium rod in his leg. Oh, he was so happy about that. He feels like he's part of the space program now. <laughs> we went over to visit him. He's like, look at that. That leg's titanium. Don't believe me? Back the car up. <laughs> he doesn't have a very large estate my grandpa, but he's going to be worth a fortune in scrap. <laughs> he's not an organ donor, but he is recyclable. So there's that. Oh, we got grandma. Grandma is 98 years old. She's 98 years old, and she's always convinced that every year is her last. So we start out every January the same way. Well, this is it. She's so convinced she's not going to make it to the end of the year that she's given all her stuff away. Maybe you have that grandma, you can't leave her house without a dish or a lamp or something, you know. She's been doing this for 20 years. You go visit grandma now, she's just sitting on a box in the corner <laughs> eating off her paper plates. Like, right? She's so convinced she's not going to make it to the end of the year that she doesn't even want to buy full-size toiletries anymore. <laughs> she doesn't want her toothpaste to outlast her. So she just shops in that little travel section at the drugstore. <laughs> Everything in her cupboard is three ounces or less. <laughs> if there's a TSA checkpoint between here and heaven, Grandma's going to make it. <laughs> she's going to be okay. I thought it would be easier to fill out my emergency contact form at school, you know, with all the family up there, but that is hard to do. I feel like the school should give you scenarios. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know what happened, so I don't know who to send, you know? Does she need an attorney? Is that who I should be sending today? Did she get her fingers stuck in her water bottle again? Well, don't call me. I'm not coming down a third time to pull that out. <laughs> she can write with the other hand. Wait it out. Kids got to learn at some point. I don't know how, who to put on my emergency for. My, my grandpa can't go down there. He can't get through the metal detector at school. <laughs> I can't put my grandma down. She's pretty sure she's not going to be available <laughs> that particular day. School won't let me use my mom as my emergency contact anymore. She was my emergency contact. They called her three times to pick up my kids. She didn't want to miss the program she was watching. <laughs> so she would just try to convince the nurse that it must be an allergy <laughs> to give them a Benadryl and send them back to class. And the last time they're just like, oh, her head is really hurting her. Yeah, it's probably an allergy. Try the Benadryl. No, you know, she slipped off the monkey bars and landed on her head. And she's, yeah, you know, those monkey bars are so slippery from all the pollen this time of year. <laughs> Maybe try the Benadryl. I feel like you should be able to put anybody you want down as your emergency contact at school. Right, do you remember that guy several years ago who was hiking in the mountains and he got caught and he had to cut off his own arm to save his life? I feel like he would make a really good emergency contact. <laughs> that seems like a guy who is cool under pressure, right? 
I'm pretty sure if my daughter knew he was coming, she wouldn't get her finger stuck in her water bottle again. (laughs) 